New tonight, the crew was strapped in and the rocket was ready, but then this launch was scrubbed at the last minute. They will try again on Friday, but as Dania Backus reports, that means two NASA astronauts will have to extend their stay in space even longer. Zero, zero, launch scrub. Less than an hour before it was set to blast off, a SpaceX Crew Dragon flight to the International Space Station was postponed. Despite clear skies around NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, the launch was scrubbed because of an issue with ground equipment. Veteran NASA astronaut Ann McLean is the mission's commander with crewmates from the U.S., Japan and Russia. Officials say the next opportunity for liftoff will be Thursday night if the issue is fixed by then. Hey, you know, they were all dressed up, but now there's nowhere to go, right? Um, the problem was with a ground system. You know, the Falcon 9 is held to its launch gantry by two kind of mechanical arms that reach around the top of the vehicle and kind of hold it in place. And before they fuel, you know, during the final moments of the countdown, they retract those arms. Uh, to free the rocket. One of them wasn't working properly. For Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, the delayed launch means their long-awaited return from the International Space Station could take a little longer. They have been there since June. Last week, they saw the bright side of the situation during a news conference. We're here. We have a mission. We're just doing what we do every day. And, you know, every day is interesting because we're up in space and it's a lot of fun. So um, I think the hardest part is, you know, having the folks on the ground have to not know exactly when we're coming back. Wilmore and Williams' stay was extended after their ride home. A Boeing Starliner spacecraft developed propulsion problems during its test flight. NASA decided to return Starliner empty and keep Wilmore and Williams at the ISS. SpaceX founder Elon Musk offered to bring the pair home sooner, but NASA says that was never considered as a viable option. Donya Back is CBS News, Los Angeles.